morning. Good morning. Um, today is December 5th. It is 7 a.m. It's Monday. I'm exhausted, <laughs> but I need to give you an update. So, um, I went to my MRI CT appointment. I drank the liquid. I did all the things. Um, I didn't eat for three hours, three and a half hours before the appointment. And I get there and they tell me that they cannot do the CT scan on November 21st because I was going to start my period the next week. And if there's even a slight little itty bitty chance that I could be pregnant, then uh, they won't do the procedure. Uh, I have told them and told them and told them that I cannot get pregnant, but they said it's policy. So there was nothing they could do. So I had to reschedule my appointment for after my period. I had all that videoed and then I lost the video because I smashed my phone. I dropped my fireplace lid on it and lost all my videos, contacts, everything. So now um, I just filmed a whole video explaining that I was able to reschedule and, <laughs> and then realized, oh, I didn't even have the beginning of the explanation of the first one. So now tomorrow is my MRI CT scan and I'm gonna be able to do it because I finished my period yesterday um, so tonight I have to drink half the liquid with water at 7.30. I'm supposed to do it 12 hours before, but I'm going to bed because I have to go to the gym in the morning. So I'm going to do it at 7.30 and then, um, the next day I have to do it three hours before my appointment. So I'm going to drink the other half at six o'clock, um, not eat or drink anything and then go to my appointment, come back to work. Um, hopefully we'll figure out what is going on after that. But I also wanted to give you an update about Wednesday. Um, so I have to have a um, iron transfusion. And I, I'm a little nervous about this iron transfusion because um, I've never had one before. And uh, I didn't even know that they did that. Uh, so my body is not retaining any iron. I eat iron. I, uh, with broccoli, with spinach, with, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then I also take two iron supplements every morning, but my body isn't retaining it. And I want to keep saying it's an enzyme, but I don't think that's the right word. Um, something as a side effect of the surgeries, um, Rune Y and the gastric sleeve, uh, makes your body just stop retaining iron and um it's a side effect so of course you know I really am so over that but um so I have to have an iron transfusion on Wednesday at 9 a.m um she said apparently it's going to take about an hour hour and a half and I'm going to feel some mild discomfort um, everything that I've read online says mild discomfort and everybody knows that mild discomfort means it's going to freaking hurt. Um, so I'm nervous because it's going to hurt. I don't know if that means it's going to hurt in just my arm that I get the, cause it's through an IV. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be my arm that hurts. I don't know if it's going to be my whole body because you're putting iron directly into your blood. So it's going to affect you somehow. Uh, I know that I'm going in with this knowledge, but I don't know exactly what that entails. So, um, I will keep you guys informed of everything that happens, uh, so that, you know, if you have to have that done, then you'll be a little bit more informed, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm a little nervous about Wednesday. <laughs> um, I'm going to look through everything that I have and um yeah I will let you guys know so I hope you guys are having a wonderful December good morning it's seven o'clock and I'm drinking the other half of my barium I keep forgetting that I don't have the footage but um I had to drink half of the barium last night diluted 
with half water and then this is the other half of the barium diluted with half water the first time I did it my sister didn't give me any instructions because she's the one that picked up my barium and she didn't give me any instructions on how to do it so um I diluted it half like I thought I was supposed to which you are but I diluted the first half and it's um like a french vanilla cream flavor and with it diluted it tastes like watered down french vanilla cream so the second half I was like why did I do that it's it's just watered down so I didn't dilute the second half the first time I did this and um it like sparkles while you drink it it's not good I don't recommend it uh, it's so thick so dilute it with water it tastes like watered down french vanilla cream it's not bad it's just not good and then um I had a banana this morning so my stomach is kind of full but I have to make sure I get all of this down I only have about maybe this much left anyways um I just have to make sure I drink it all in the next like 10 minutes because I have my appointment in an hour and a half and I'm supposed to drink this before an hour and a half before my appointment so yeah this is fun So I just finished with my appointment and I'm on my way back to work. Um, that was a hard appointment. <laughs> I ended up crying and uh, yeah, so once I have myself together I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> okay, so I'm at a point now where I could talk about yesterday. and. Um, I'm on my way to go get some food, but I haven't been home yet since my appointment today. I'll tell you about that after. But yesterday, uh, I went in there and they were so nice to me. I was so nervous. I was so nervous. I wasn't allowed to film anything. And he, there was a gentleman and two women. And the gentleman was uh, walking me through everything, telling me what exactly I was supposed to expect. He was so sweet. Uh, they did the IV in my hand right here, because I prefer it in my hands. It stings initially, but having it in there, it doesn't sting anywhere else on my arms. After I have it in, it stings. Um, so, uh, he, they did it in my hand right here, and they were so gentle and explaining everything to me, you know, I'm going to feel hot, warm sensation all over. You're going to, you're going to feel like you have to pee or you're going to feel like you're peeing. And I'm like, okay, I understand that. And he was like, but you won't pee. And I said, has, and I made a joke. I was like, has anybody ever peed? And he was like, no. So you won't. I know that you won't. And I was like, okay, you know, I, I understand that. And, um, I'm just going to park so that I'm not driving, but, um, he was the gentleman I don't know what his name was it was uh, Scandinavian I think it was an unusual beautiful name it started with a J um, it's like Jordan or something um, but he was so sweet and telling me everything every step of the way uh, I had to have my bra off but could keep all of the rest of my clothes on I took all of my jewelry off at work and then I took my watch off um, when I went in there so I took my bra off my watch off and then they left my purse in this locker they gave me a key so I laid down on the table and I have to have my hands raised above my head and then they hooked me up to the machine and um you go in I, I standard MRI I've had one before you go in and it says okay now breathe in hold your breath and then five seconds later it like counts down and says okay now breathe and you could just keep breathing and then um, that took maybe 10 minutes and then they pull me out and uh, they have someone standing there to, to hold on to my hand but not apply any pressure. They just want to make sure when the contrast goes in it doesn't balloon. They want to make sure it's in my vein. 
So I have a woman, her name is Amy, and she's standing there with my, with her hand on my hand, and she said, okay, and then it says, a preparing contrast, and then all of a sudden I felt this burning, stinging, ripping pain from my hand all the way up to my chest, and I went, oh, it burns! And Amy goes, stop, stop, stop. The gentleman's attitude completely changed, completely changed. He was like, what's going on? He felt, he was like, you don't have any bubbles. It went into your vein. And I'm like, it burns. He was like, does it still burn? I said, well, it's easing. And he was like, some mild discomfort is common. And I'm like, I don't describe that as mild discomfort. That hurt. That was so painful. So I was like, okay. So then I started to cry because I mean, now I'm getting yelled at basically in my mind, I'm getting yelled at because I was in pain. <laughs> and um, he was not taking me seriously I feel I have a really high tolerance for pain you know what I mean but like that was uh, that was intense so I um, I, I asked him I said how long is that split because he said you know you're shoot we're shooting a lot of liquid into your veins all at once there's gonna be some out discomfort and I was like okay okay uh, I believe you. How long will it last? He, and then he asked me again, well, is it gone yet? And I'm like, well, yeah, it's almost all the way gone. He was like, so then just a minute, right? Like, yeah, just a minute. So then I'll just handle, I'll just deal with it. He said, well, we, now we have to contact radiology to see if we give you, because we gave you 29 out of the 100 units that you were supposed to get. We gave you 29. We don't know if we can give you just the whole 71, the rest of it, or if we have to do the whole 100 again. So we have to wait for radiology and they're in a consult. And he said it just like that. And I was like, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm so sorry. I kept apologizing, I'm so sorry. And he was like, it's fine, it is what it is, you know? And he was like tapping my forehead. Amy came over and she was like wiping my tears, telling me that, you know, nobody experiences the same thing twice. I'm totally normal for that. Thank you for, for letting us know that you were uncomfortable because we'd rather have you have a false alarm like this then have something seriously be wrong and you just hold your breath so I'm like you know she's making me feel so much better about it so then they end up having to give me the whole hundred again so um, they do it and then they put a hot pack on my vein look you can see it's all popped out you can't see it but I can um, <laughs> they put a hot pack it's called a uh, infant heel warmer on my hand to plump up my vein and then when they did it it wasn't it was not this again. It was just mild discomfort. And that's a, that's the perfect description for it. The first one was intense. That was painful. This one was just uncomfortable. And then I dealt with it. Like five minutes later, I was able to get up and leave. And then I went back to work. So it was not a good experience for me yesterday. <clears throat> However, today was not bad. It was not bad. I have footage of today, and I'll show you right now. Okay. And my name is Etta Noble, 01091990. Okay. So we have you um, as Richie on here. That's, I just got married in September. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. So on insurance, it must still be under Richie. Um, it's actually under... I take two iron supplements every day. Okay, does that make you... I take two iron supplements every day. Okay, does that make you nauseous at all? No. Okay, good. So you may tolerate the um, infusion okay. okay. Um, it's usually when people get nauseous with the oral pills that this will make them nauseous as well. Okay. Um, that's something to look out for. And headaches can occur okay. after the infusion. Um, and body aches is usually the top three things that we hear. I heard, of, I heard about the mild discomfort. I yes. had, yesterday I had to have an MRI done and they told me there was going to be some mild discomfort and I had radiating pain up to my chest. So oh, he was like, no, no, it's totally normal. I'm like, oh my God, this is not normal. Oh, I'm so so I'm a little nervous about today, just so you know. No, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, after yesterday's experience, I'm sure. Yeah. Was it the contrast that made it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that can feel like warm and. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so I'll go ahead and start taking your vital sign. Okay, and then does it have to be in... Not that I'm expecting you to, but, you know, as a medication is first time, you always want to make yeah. sure that you don't have any major reactions to it. Gotcha. So this is going to be on my wrist the whole time? No, no, I'll take oh, okay. that off as soon as it's done. And how long does this usually take? Like an hour, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm nervous. 145? Is that high for you? <laughs> That's very high okay. for me. <laughs> 145 over 85. Ugh. I mean, that could be normal for some people, but if it's high for you... I'll yeah, say, my I'll blood pressure is usually perfect. Oh, like like 120 yeah. over 80, 121 yeah. over 70, you know, so... Right. 145. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. I'm getting all ready for Christmas. Yeah, actually, my fiance is going to have to come. I'm 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 going to have to it's a lot. 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 I'm not getting it right away like I'd like. Do you want to try my hand, Lou? So I can try it. Yeah. yeah. No, I just want to see if you use it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Since it's a smaller needle, I think. It is small. It is small. My hand but, is pretty good for that. My yeah. hands are sweaty. I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> you sweat, too. Okay. I do. <laughs> I've done, I've done this before. Put <laughs> <laughs> that way so you don't smell it. Sorry. It's all good. Oh, that is a good one. <clears throat> and now we have one of our ladies out here who doesn't like the smell of alcohol either. And our um, alcohol spray to clean mm -hmm. everything is really potent. And yeah. so she's like, oh my gosh, I can smell it from all the way out here. I have um I have a really strong sniffer though so do you yeah okay, yeah just make it this way so it's closer success okay mm hmm. No, no, it's all good. I, I promise it's all good. Hard part is done. <laughs> Ta da!
That and I'm getting both of those vials. Yes, yeah. Oh my god. It looks like blood. Yeah, it's really, really dark, huh? Some patients say they can taste it. Um, Ooh, what does it taste like? Like a metallic taste. So it may taste like su sucking on a penny. Ew. Oh, no, <laughs> that sounds <laughs> like so much fun. Here we go. Wow. Really dark. And you're going to put both of those in that one bag? Yep. Do I get um, saline at the same time or just that? You do get a little bit of saline. That's what's hanging up right there. Oh, it's a little teeny bag. It's small. Oh, cute. This is actually kind of fascinating to me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. And how much iron is that? Like how like So this is one point zero two grams. Wow. Mm -hmm. And how do you get the iron? The iron is, is it from a blood like somebody has to donate it from their blood? No, no, this is a synthetic. So I'm not exactly sure. Um, it's not from blood though. Okay. It's called ferrahine. Wow. That is so trippy. Yeah. Huh. Plenty like of fluids. plenty of fluids and yeah. would it be okay to take some like Tylenol if yep. I have a headache? Yep, yep. Tylenol is perfectly okay. Um, usually doctors say like 600 dose is okay. fine. And okay. then um, <clears throat> you can take a Benadryl if you get a rash or if you feel itchy. Oh, where Sometimes would I feel a rash or itchy all over? Um, you can in your arm. Okay. And then if it does spread everywhere, that's when, you know, it's a little more serious. Okay. And that you would have to go to the ER type thing. So they okay. can give you a steroid. Um, but let's hope that doesn't happen. Doesn't yeah, happen too I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna really, really try. <laughs> Um, but if you get like a little rash or if you're itchy, you can take a Benadryl and that usually makes it subside. For sure. But if it's something like all over your body, then that's a little bit more serious. Yeah. Okay. Mm God, it so does look like blood. Yeah, it's dark. And there it goes. Whoa. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> Filter, so it catches like air bubbles, like what you see going through there. Oh, genius! Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Closer it gets, the more nervous. I'm like, oh, it's coming. It's about to go in. <laughs> like I said, you may taste it, but you shouldn't have any pain or anything like that. Should just be like normal saline. Um, it's not normal saline because it's mixed but with the medication. But I mean, like, feel like it yes. going in, right? right.
it's done. Oh, the beauty. So it is, um, is untamed in Korean? It is in Chinese, actually. Okay. Yeah. But that's what got me started. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> untamed. I'll have to look it up. It's very, very good. Um, I mean, the body so that he could, he could figure out who killed him. Oh. So it starts off 13 years after he was killed. Okay. And so he wakes up in a body, and you're confused because he's confused. He's like, whoa, dude, I was just dead. You know what oh, I mean? So he doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know where he is or anybody. So then the first three episodes, you go through that, and then it jumps back to where it all began and goes to when he dies and then jumps back to okay. finish it. Mm -hmm. So it starts off 13 years after, so you know nothing. You know what's going on. And so it's confusing as shit. And yeah. so I had to explain it because I watched the show, then I found out that it was an anime, so I watched the anime, uh -huh. then found out that it was a manga, so I okay. read the manga, then found out that it was actually based off of a book that was oh like 300 gosh. and something chapters, so I got the book as well. Oh, wow. It's good. Let me show you a picture. So, The Untamed, I did not mean to plug that at all. Not sponsored, but if you want to watch it, so good. Anybody that's ever watched it, so good. Anyways, <laughs> um, <clears throat> today's appointment went great. I feel um, heavy. My eyelids feel heavy. My fingertips feel heavy. My hair feels heavy. I feel heavy. I'm not tired, but I feel like I need to lay down, like let my body rest. I've been on the go all day today. I went to the store. I went shopping. I went and helped my fiance out talk to my sister a little bit like I've been on the go since this morning it's only 3 15 p.m. but thank god I had the day off because I had to go into work for a little bit today um because I went shopping yesterday after work for work and so I had to drop the stuff off anyways um the woman today her name is Ashley she was super sweet I asked her if I could film she said yeah which is the reason why I have all that footage um it is a little long so I apologize for that, but it's super informative. I love it when they allow me to film because then I'm not giving secondhand knowledge. Like you, you hear it straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. So, um, yeah, I felt a little bit of nausea, but not like, not like I can vomit, but like I feel queasy. And then as I was sitting there, cause I have to sit there for like five minutes after the appointment and we're talking about the untamed and different like TV shows that she's watched and I've watched. And um, <clears throat> I told her, I said, I feel like not dizzy, but not all here. And she was like, ah, oh, a little fuzzy. And I said, yeah. And she said, yeah, I, I've heard some people say that that's how they feel. Uh, it should dissipate. Drink plenty of fluids. I'm on my second bottle of water now. So I've had plenty of fluids. But um, she said, drink plenty of fluids, get something to eat, and you should be fine. I had a banana on the way to my appointment and she said that's so not enough. So then after my appointment I went uh, to my sister's work and I had breakfast there. She works at a restaurant. So I had some breakfast, shared it with my sister and um, I just feel, I still feel like in my body like I need to rest. So I'm going to get myself something to eat now and then I'm going to go home and rest for just a little bit because now I have to decorate for Christmas. So that's what happened today. And yesterday I'll let you guys know when I get any of the results I don't know when that's gonna be my blood test isn't gonna be for like six weeks but my MRI test I don't know when that's gonna be so yeah just so you know I will keep you informed my nose is bleeding I think it's because of the iron so ew <laughs>